when was the last time you upgraded your Kubernetes clusters? If the answer is, I don't remember, then stick around because running an outdated Kubernetes cluster could be hurting your security as well as your performance. Let us go into our computer and upgrade our Kubernetes clusters. So first of all, let me hide myself. So if you go to Kubernetes documentation, you will um, find the documentation on how to upgrade uh, your Kubernetes clusters. So um, for instance, you can upgrade from version 1.30 to version 1.31, and then you can also upgrade um, from 1.29 to 1.30. But let's say for some reason, you are still running the um, Kubernetes version 1.29 and you want to upgrade from version 1.29 to version 1.31. You cannot just go from version 1.29 to version 1.31, uh, but rather you should go from version 1.29 to version 1.30 and then from version 1.30, then you can go to version 1.31. Now let us go into our server and upgrade our Kubernetes from version 1.33 to the latest version, which is uh, 1.34. So I will SSH into my server. So once I'm into my server, then I can just run kget notes, which is the simple uh, short form for keep CTL so okay get notes and then we can check the version so my master node is running version 1.335 and then my worker node is also running version 1.3 so I want to upgrade from version 1.33 to the latest version which is 1.34 let's go back to the documentation so first of all we need to change the package uh, repository so we'll go to change the package repository. If you click the link in this documentation, it will take you to the page where you can change the package uh, repository. So let us find um, this part. So this is where we are storing our package uh, repository. So I'll go to um, my CLI again. Okay, I'm logged out. So I'll log back into my server again the screen and then I will uh, say cut I just want to view this file so uh, you can see I have version 1.33 okay so um, now we need to change version we need to change this from version 1.33 to version 1.34 okay so we just have to do sudo view and then we view this file and then we can just we can just um, edit it here so I and then four so I'm changing it from version 1.33 to version 1.34 okay now save the file let's go back to the documentation again So once you have done this, go back to the documentation again. So the next thing we need to do is to update our system and then check the version that we can um, install on our system. So let us go to the CLI again. And then I will run, I will update my system. And then the next command we need to run is just to check the version. So now we can see that in version 1.34, we can either install version 1.34.1 or we can install version 1.34.0. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is to uh, cordon our node. So run. Um, Okay, cordon KHS master. Now I've cordon my node, so it's uh, unshadowable now. So K okay, get node. Now you can see it's not shadowable. 
but uh, the best practice is to drain the whole node but i don't want to drain it and move all my ports to my node 01 but you can do that so i'll clear the screen again and then the next thing we need to do is to um on hold the cube adm uh, installation so sudo we need to on hold the cube adm and then the cube let also and then the cube ctl as well cube ctl as well now it's on hold so we can install the latest version of cube adm kubelet and then cube ctl as well now the next command is to install the latest versions so now i'll paste this one here i didn't copy it well so it should be sudo apt install sudo apt install and then the version that we want to install is the version version 1.1 1 .1. so we will do the same for kubelet and uh, kubectl as well so kubelet kubelet and then we also need it for kubectl kube Keep CTL. Keep CTL. Now let us install. So it will take a moment um, to install. So now it is done. So once that is done, let us go back to the documentation again. So when you go back to the documentation, the next thing is uh, we, we can check the version that we've just installed. So open the CLI again. So check the version if we got it right. So now we can see uh, Cube ADM is on. Uh, we can see Cube ADM is on version one on version one point three four point one, which is good. That is what we wanted to install already. You can also check a version for kubectl so kubectl kubectl version then it's also 1.34 that is good now go back to the documentation and let us find the next step that we need to do so the next step we need to do um, is to run cube adm upgrade plan so now we are going to upgrade our master node so paste the command here and give it some time it just takes some time okay so now we can upgrade our master node from version 1.34.1 now we can upgrade our master node with version 1.34.1 okay so i'll copy my i'll copy this command here and then I will just paste it here. Okay, because I didn't uh, run it uh, um, with uh, sudo privileges, so let us clear the screen, and then sudo, and then paste the command again. Now it is installing the cube ADM. It is upgrading our system to the latest cube ADM. Yes, I want to. Okay, something happened. Okay, so now it is running again for some weird reasons. Something broke, so let us hope everything works fine. This is going to take some time. Usually, it can take up to five minutes to upgrade our whole cluster so i will come back when this is done so now um, it has been successfully upgraded from the version 1.33 to version 1.34 
so now it has been upgraded successfully and we have access to all the latest features and also all security vulnerabilities has been patched so always remember to upgrade your system to always stay ahead and not be vulnerable so now we can run all the commands so let's just check our node k get nodes for some reason i still see version 1.33 so let us restart the kubelet so should system ctl system system ctl um restart kubelet I need to run with pseudo privileges sudo system ctl restart restart kubelets so let us check the versions again give it a moment nice so once we restart the kubelet then it updates everything so now we can see we are running um, the version 1.3 uh, 1.34.1 1 on the master node now we can do the same um, for the for the worker node but then with the worker node we just don't need to apply let us go to the documentation and then see what it has for us so i'll go back to the documentation and then now um when you want to upgrade for the worker node you just have to run sudo kubadm upgrade node and then it will just upgrade the worker node instead of um running kubadm upgrade apply so now it is done we can do more commands on our system so let's see all the ports running in my system k okay, get ns and k okay, get ports so in the last moment we have here i also want to touch on installing kubernetes onto your system it is quite tedious um, installing the production grid on your server or system so i have also attached a step-by-step -step documentation on how to um, set up kubernetes classes onto your production web server or your home lab and uh, do not forget to subscribe and also give it a thumb up and then also share your comment and then let me see your challenges and how we can help each other so happy cubing